to fight. So yeah, I'm going to send some tornadoes back, and hopefully they will be able to do enough damage to take care of his forces. But I'm not sure... Yeah, oh shoot, I can't send them far back enough. Okay, well, hopefully... It looks like... Oh dear, it looks like I'm dealing less and less damage. I don't know how much... Yeah, I, my forces are running out. Although, wait. What? Oh, it looks like... Hmm, I guess my tornadoes actually did make a difference. It looks like his forces have either retreated or died. So I'm actually going to get three factors in that green time when it comes along. Or four factors, I should say, total. And then from there, I'll actually be able to... I think we should be able to just take him out. I think at this point, it's just... Because he's attacking with a fairly large force, but I don't know how much more he has left. That was a lot of resources. And it looks like it ultimately failed. Admittedly, I have also trained a lot of resources in Key Plasma. I'm not using a lot of the resources I have. I probably have an advantage, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting to use those resources. Admittedly, I don't have the factories that I will have, but I still could build new ones. I think. Oh boy, I... Yeah, I'm gonna have to remember to do that in later games. Um, so this is gonna be a bit... A bit slow for now until the green time whip comes. At that point, I'll have enough factories. I can actually do stuff normal. But as it is, I just want to hold off the attack, which is coming now. And looks like it's going to be all Shin. Yeah, Shin and Teth beers, I think. Although I might be wrong. I'm going to check. Or okay, uh, I'm not going to check. Okay, it's well, it doesn't really matter, especially because they are fighting through my tornadoes pretty well anyway. But they have a pretty nasty surprise in that now I have factories, I can build units, and when the attack comes along, it's not going to last very long, I'm afraid. And it looks like, actually, it looks like Sakhanov's completely cancelled the attack at this point. I guess he realized that it was going to have more troops and going to have more factories. So I'm just going to build a bunch of Tornads, see what I can. So they're basically bomber units, and it looks like all he has is ground, so I don't have to worry about air units. Though I will be building a few tanks as well, and yeah, they're there. So there's a couple tanks, and because I need to take care of... Obviously, the test beers, I can't just take care of them with air units, the test beers are anti-air themselves, so trying to take care of them with air units is going to be rather foolish. So, as it is, I'm just going to send some more units back into the past to try to... Just for defense. I'm not sure if he's sending any units back. I don't know if he has chronophores. I'm starting to doubt he does, though, because he did spend a lot on units. And apparently I've lost all my... Either lost or undid all my research policies. That's odd, I didn't see that happening. Anyway, it's... Regardless, I'm just going to be sending off an attack pretty soon, as soon as I get to units in the past, to try to make sure that they're not getting attacked anywhere, just for defense, essentially. And after that, I will be trying to go for a full-on attack and try to finish this off, because I think he just... He basically retreated a giant force, and if I can just outproduce that... I mean, he does have a lot... Of, he probably does have a lot of resources left. He's only spending liquid crystals, so he does probably have a fair amount of cube plasma left for him. Because infantry only costs liquid crystal. So if he has the Q plasma, he could get good tech. And it looks like, yeah, he's got units coming back again. So hopefully my units come in, even the Chrono Clone ones especially, because one of the benefits of sending units back in time is you have two of them for until the second until the first one goes back in time again. If you have two of them, it's known as Chrono Clone. And it looks like the attack is going through and it's not gonna last very long, I don't think. I mean, the tornados aren't doing too well, but then there's a couple tanks behind, more tornados, more marines. And unfortunately, I'm not a chrono energy, so I can't actually deal with this very well, but I'll deal with it as well as I can. I really. I was trying to send hierarchies before, which is what you need to do in order to take care of having low chrono energy, or not have low chrono energy in the first place. Get a lot of hierarchies and then just control the top level unit. At this point, it looks like, though, his force is going to go through, and as they get to my defenses, unfortunately, my defenses aren't attacking all at once, but yeah, at this point, I actually do have more attack. more attacking units. That unit covered in yellow, or the yellow ring unit, that's the unit that I'm going to send back in time. So, that is helping out, and I'm sending more Tornads back in time, although I only have the resources for two, I think, at this point, so only two will successfully go back, but still, that'll be enough to defend and completely seal things. So, as they come along, I mean, unfortunately I didn't send them forward because I didn't have enough throwing energy, so I, the Tornads are just sitting back for now. But they will eventually, if the forces get far in, they will help to attack and completely defend the base. At this point, I think Sakhanov is really running out. I, I haven't lost as many forces as he has, and honestly, those infantry are about as expensive. They're a bit cheaper than tanks, because they don't have QP cost, but they do have a liquid crystal cost that's on par with the tanks, so the tanks are actually being quite cost-effective against them. I mean, really, as long as the tank can take care of two, two, veers, two infantry, then it's fine. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like I basically won that battle, so I'm going to make sure, review, that I did, did in fact win it, and I think... At this point, I'm just going to try to build a macro fab, try to seal, just in case he's trying anything else. I'm going to just try to get some frigates, in case there's any air units, but 
No, probably not. It looks like if his special thing was infantry, then he's probably gonna not go for air. But I'll, I'll see. Anyway, I will be sending some more units back at this point. Just, or, trying to. Oh shoot, I'm out of food plasma. Okay, that's not gonna work. I can't send any more units back. But I can set some attacks and hopefully take care of... Okay, now let's the attack coming back in. This is the same attack as before. Don't worry. This is the same thing that happened over and over. I'm just reviewing it to make sure that everything's going well. Because I don't want... Just to kind of, I don't know what he's planning. Like, I don't know if he has gate tech, if he's going to be sending units back in time to assist with the attack, or if he's going to stop building infantry and go to something else. At this point, I'm just going to try to mass up a bit, get some cube plasma. Unfortunately, I, I didn't realize I lost those those RPs, and I was so focused on getting that chrono porting to work that I didn't actually build it out. So you see, there's a little area at the bottom right of my screen right now that that area of resources, that is basically sort of second natural, but it's more open. So because this imagery was going through, I didn't want to build there, but at the same time I didn't realize that the natural I had taken was being used. And so that's kind of left me a bit dry on QP. So this one I'm just going to build mechs, and then with an army of mechs and tanks, just gonna try to just completely steamroll. Hopefully he'll have far fewer units than I think. I mean, if he's building constantly, then he should have still a fairly large army of infantry. But he might not have expanded. I don't know. I mean, I imagine because I'm not playing especially well this game, unfortunately. So he could easily have an advantage on me in terms of resources and in terms of units. He's not spending Q plasma, so he really is gonna be an advantage in that respect. And if he does have gate tech, he's gonna have a lot of Either he's going to have a lot of cube plasma, or all of his resource processors are on with the crystal. And now I'm taking that second natural in the middle, hopefully trying to get more resources, more cube plasma, just in case if I need to chronoport anymore, or really just for advanced units in general. Because mechs are useful, but not the most useful, and I'm just making sure that nothing actually has happened yet. It looks like, oh boy, yeah, it looks like kind of got some issues with RP bugs. I uh, shoot, yeah, okay, well I guess this isn't going to... I'm not sure exactly what he means. He might might be the teleportation. They they teleport fine, in my experience, but it might have been might have been an issue with trying to redirect them. It's it is usually not as big of an issue, but sometimes it requires a bit of babysitting. However, it's it's getting it's much better now, but it's just then like, there it's being improved. Of course, it's just don't yeah. Unfortunately, that seems to have ended the game. So he's going to try to. Going for a last stand, massive last stand. A lot of units actually taking quite a large chunk out of my forces, but unfortunately he's still losing more units, and I still have more forces, more resources. I'm getting Q plasma again now. I got that income, and now it's just a matter of steamrolling with mechs. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this game. And unfortunately, I know I wasn't playing my best, and you saw a lot of my base and not a lot of chronos. I will be starting to do games on observer map that I made. I edited this particular map to have an observer player, uh, not this instance of the map, there's another, uh, basically a copy of the map that has an observer player, and I'll be trying to do some observation games where both players are visible, and we can see what both players are doing, so it should be pretty interesting if I can get that to work, and I just need a couple people to play with in order for that to work, but as long as that should be interesting, and we'll be able to see both players, the whole fight, the whole, all the strategy, and it'll be a lot easier for me to commentate because I'm not trying to play at the same time. I will be doing Observer games as soon as I can get some people to do a game on that map with me observing. And it should be a lot more interesting than just the, these FT bots, although I'm doing what I can. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. And please subscribe to my channel and continue watching videos. There'll be more videos up soon. And see you guys later.